All right, you are looking for how to start a repossession business, right? Really awesome search. Uh, my name is Brian Olinick, by the way. Hey there. And I am coming to you from my home office here. And I want to pull up the camera and talk about this because my story, you know, with getting involved in different types of businesses goes back over the last three and a half years. And you're going to want to pay close attention because having friends of mine, all right, close business friends of mine over that period of time that I've met and been in contact with who have started their own repossession business, dealing with a lot of the requirements, even though it's a simple business to start, but the requirements to maintain and uh, deal with, all right, the management and the workload, it can be a little bit of grunt work, just to be completely straight up with you. And if you're looking at this for very similar reasons as to why close business friends of mine had looked at it and started a repossession business, because you know it's a simple business, you know you can make money at it, all right? Dealing with some of the clients that you gotta deal with, remember this is possession, repossession, so you're literally taking what someone had and you're confiscating it from them. It's not the best, especially when you have someone who's face to face with you and you get threatened and all this stuff, but it goes with the territory of the business. Not saying every client and customer is going to be like that, but I'm sure you're well aware of what repossession obviously is. That's why you're watching this video and I'm not going to go into that, but you know, having seen friends who've started this type of business and you know, deal with some of the, you know, things that have happened with them and clients and just the whole business model in general, dealing with supplies, dealing with equipment, dealing with employees. It can be it can be, you know, tough. All right, tough on you mentally, emotionally, physically, and unless you're really looking at it from a franchise perspective, all right? Unless you're looking at franchising out know, the business model, I would suggest before you consider starting a repossession business, if you're looking at it to be your own boss, create leverage and flexibility, do what you want to do when you want to do it. If that's what you're looking for a business for, I got something I want to throw your way before you consider starting a repossession business. And if you hear me out here for a minute, this can save you a lot of blood, sweat and tears, a lot of late nights and frustration. And my story with this goes back a year ago when I actually came across a person uh, who was building a business in a way where they didn't actually have to deal with supplies, equipment, employees, all the stuff that goes with a repossession business. So they didn't have that overhead. Their profit and income was high because they didn't have that. All right. And they're actually building their business off the Internet without creating their own products and services, uh, without doing anything technical, and because they're making a high multiple six-figure income business, I gotta say this, these are not average or typical results. I'm not guaranteeing your results. I'm not you know, telling you that you're gonna be successful if you start an internet business. But the cool part was they had time freedom, location freedom, and leverage. Traveling around the world, being able to build a business and income at the same time, without the infrastructure and overload of a business model, all right, dealing with supplies, equipment, and the limited location freedom that you have with that because you got to stick to one place because you've got to manage all those things. Because they weren't dealing with that, I reached out to them for help, <laughs> really asked what they were doing, and uh, in less than about a month, I was able to walk away from corporate America. You know, following what they shared with me, I was able to walk away from corporate America and put my traditional business that I'd been running, a lot of them, off to the side and uh, haven't looked back since. And I'm not guaranteeing your results. I'm not telling you you're going to get rich quick. In fact, if you're looking to get rich quick, um, business is not for you. If you're not willing to learn or you're not willing to work, business is not for you. But I would advise you, if you're looking to start a business because you want to create time, freedom, leverage, and flexibility, learn to build a business on the internet before you head down that path. Unless you really want to learn how to start a repossession business, if that's your calling, comment down below and I'll point you in the right direction. But before you consider that, if you're only looking at building a business to be your own boss, create your own income, learn to build a business on the internet. And because there's a lot of noise out there, I would leave you with this last tip here, which is connect with someone. Connect with someone uh, who's building a business on the internet, who's willing to connect with you. It's what broke me through, worked for me, can work for you. So I appreciate your time, my friend. It's been fun. I hope you got value out of this video. And uh, I look forward to seeing your success story. I do. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the beaches of the world and uh, you know, being able to walk right beside you <laughs> and uh, be able to build a business at the same time. So I appreciate your time and make sure if you want to learn more about how to actually build a business on the internet, if you're coachable, trainable, you're willing to learn things, not afraid of work, to connect with me on my site, check it out. I'll actually connect with you from there personally to 123marketingtips.com. I'll put the link in the description and uh, I appreciate you. Take care.